All right, just gonna do a quick video in regards to when you tune in a bias and why is recent is so important to understand the value of the transistor and what we have to do to create our bias. Okay, this is uh, for a class AB. If you're gonna do a linear amplifier, uh, do it correctly. Um, this video is for those that wanted to learn and how to build and how to do proper the proper way. Every amplifier is different, every single one. If you build uh, two amplifiers that are the same, it's gonna be uh, uh, problems on the road. So um, I have to redo this amplifier. It was burned for high SWRs. So I gotta retune the, the bias. What I'm doing here, what I'm gonna show you guys, it's a quick tip. It's, it's several um, articles about bias circuit bias online you guys can find it out there i just want to mention this one in particular this is the one i like if we read here on uh, where it says the standard values of voltage meter for most hf high frequency or amateur bands assigned are between two to four volts to stabilize voltage base emitter UHF amplifier high frequencies will normally completely avoid the emitter resistors. That doesn't apply to us because we're doing an HF amplifier. So here, I'm just gonna show you guys uh, real quick um, what they mean by that, okay? And I'm gonna also show something that I don't think I've ever seen in a, in a video out there. We need to understand what they're talking about, the voltage emitter and the voltage base emitter, okay? So when the power comes in into the amplifier and it goes here, we have to understand that what they're talking about. In this case, I'm gonna show you guys the voltage in here. Let me put it here so you guys can see it. Oh, first, let me connect my power. I gotta do a bridge because this is not ready for, I have the radio on, I don't have a transistor yet. So right now we're seeing 92 um, milliamps. This, this meter here is it's a setup for, to read the milliamps that is going to the transistor. And this is gonna read the, the voltage that I was talking about. Here we have uh, 3.66 volts. This is what the note says. The voltage should be between two to four. Not five, not six, not eight three point between two and four all right now we're going to move over to the circuit of the of the bias i have here 626 this still have to be tuned to the transistor while well, the transistor requires to open that voltage i'm going to focus here it's a little bright because of my skylight so I'm gonna turn on the meter, analyzing the trans transistor. It's right there. Collector to a meter, 36 HFE. And this is what we're looking for. Base to a meter. This is the voltage that it's in the bias that required me for, for me to set up my amplifier based on the transistor, what the transistor is requiring, okay? 607 volts. Okay, so here I have the 10 ohms resistors, the famous 10, uh, um, 10 ohm resistors. This resistors, and so they're talking about the base to the meter. Voltage base to a meter right there. Stabilized voltage base to a meter. That's why we use this 10 ohm resistors, okay? Let's, let's, let's talk about this that is very important. It doesn't always have to be 10 ohms. It doesn't have to be always 10 ohms. We can discuss this. But based on the schematics, if we're gonna do it properly, we need to go by this guy right here. By this guy. Let's turn it back on. And 
is asking me for 607 volts that means that i have to tune my voltage to 607 volts i hope this is helpful for those that wanted to do an amplifier with a true bias true bias not class b or anything like that or let me just put uh resistors and just this is not a factory that you create build one and the other one the same no you have to do every single amplifier is different so you have to base yourself on what you read from the transistors when you buy transistors and you're going to build the four transistor amplifier in this case you need to go buy what the gain the measurements make sure they are in one percent let's say this one is giving me 607 this one is giving me 611 this one is giving me 617 and this one is giving me 602 so i have to find the value of this four what is the the center point to react when whenever you key up on, on the amplifier to be ready to to um to open up for the modules to open up and give you the the same um current an amplifier the most important on the amplifier is be balanced if the amplifier is not balanced then you're gonna have a lot of issues so i just want to give you a, a tip where to start building an amplifier and all the components that go around the amplifier is based on what on the value of the transistors on the gain of the transistors this is like i said if not a, if this is not a factory where you build the same one always always and always it's not it's not about that it just create an amplifier to what the transistor needs that's what you got to build on okay all right and tune everything properly uh you guys will see i will do a video for this amplifier once it's done 73 all right earlier i showed the demonstration of uh, how what i need to do to tune the amplifier right so as far as for the bias now here we're still using uh uh this meter to check for um the current and this one is for the volt the the voltage so as you guys saw earlier on the transistors i already put the transistors in uh, you guys are gonna see uh, what did I explain earlier? We see an 89 milliamps. So actually, this this is the only amount of current that the transistor requires to open up. Okay, and we're gonna check the voltage right there. 611. Why choose 611? Because uh, two of them there were. Uh, 607 608 and the other two is 611 so i decide to go just one millivolt up a couple of millivolts up and the other two so you guys can see it's 611 and 89 milliamps so this will be perfect for class ab uh to have a good audio now i gotta tune the flybacks we'll see how the transistor respond if they respond great i leave those if not i replace them for whatever it will give me to obtain better uh, linearity with the amplifier